Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield, and it's good to be with you this evening. Thank you so much for listening to this program today. I love you very much. If these videos are beneficial to you, please share them with your friends and your neighbors and your family. I know God will bless you for listening to God's Word. God's Word is so important to me, and it should be to all of us. You can find me at www.raymondmayfield.com or just raymondmayfield.com. All of my videos are there. Also, I have two counseling sites. One is counselorsoftruth.com and the other is counselorsofpeace.com. And I'll be happy to visit with you in person or over the telephone. So just give me a call if I can help you. I want to talk to you about listening to God. In my last session, I talked to you about Eli and his sons. Eli was a priest in Israel, but God was unhappy with him. He allowed his sons to participate in sacrifices and place heavy demands upon the people. Prostitution went on at the door of the tabernacle in which his sons were involved, and God removed Eli from the priesthood and called Samuel to be a prophet over Israel. God had his hand up on him. It's a shame to see all the things that happened to Eli and his son, but God does not endure sin and will not put up with sin and blasphemy, especially against his sacrifices and in the house of God. 1 Samuel 3 and verses 1 through 4 in the Living Bible Meanwhile, little Samuel was helping the Lord by assisting Eli. Messages were rare in those days, and may I add just something there. God didn't really speak to people much in those days, but one night after Eli had gone to bed, he was almost blind with age, and Samuel was sleeping in the temple near the ark, and the Lord cried out, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel didn't really know who this was, so yes, Samuel replied, what is it? He jumped up and ran to Eli, here I am, what do you want? In verse number five of that same chapter, Eli said, I never called you, go on to bed. So he did. Then the Lord called Samuel again, and again Samuel jumped up and ran to Eli, and yes, he said, what do you need? Then Eli, the priest, the aged priest, began to realize it was the Lord who had spoken to the child. So he said to Samuel, uh, go on back and lay down again, and if he calls again, say, yes, Lord, I'm listening. So Samuel went back to bed. You know, isn't it a sad thing that God couldn't speak to Eli anymore because of the sins of him and his sons had committed? Uh, and because of their blasphemy, but God speaks to a young child there, and he's about to become the great one of the greatest prophets Israel ever had. And the Lord came and called before Samuel, Samuel again. And Samuel replied, Yes, Lord, I'm listening. Then the Lord said unto Samuel, I'm going to do a shocking thing in Israel, and I'm going to do all the dreadful things that I warned Eli about. And the Lord said, I have continually threatened him and his entire family with punishment because his sins are blaspheming God and he doesn't stop them. You know, the judgment of God never comes unless God warns people over and over and over again. And his sons and Eli had plenty of chances to repent and to turn around to do right with God. And because they would not, in verse number 14, uh, now they're going to suffer great loss. Uh, Eli is going to, leave the, uh, going to lose the priesthood. His sons and everything and his family are going to be cast out of that office there and no longer. So Samuel stayed in bed until morning and then opened the doors of the temple as usual for he was afraid to tell Eli what the Lord had said to him. But Eli asked him, what did the Lord say to you? Tell me everything, that, and may God punish you if you hide anything from me, in verse number 17. And then Samuel told him everything that the Lord had told him about. He planned to judge him. And then Eli, I'm sure, bound his head, say, if that's what the Lord is wanting to do, that, that is what is going to happen. 
and he knew that God is a fair judge and knew he deserved the punishment from God because of what he done. In verse 19 it says, And Samuel grew, the Lord was with him, and the people listened carefully to his advice, and all of Israel knew that Samuel was going to be a prophet of the Lord. It's sad to see the demise of Eli and his son. It's also good to listen to God. Eli quit listening to God because of his sin. But Samuel, just a young boy, understand the, the voice of God after Eli told him it was the Lord. And later on, it tells us through the Bible, Samuel become one of the greatest prophets that Israel ever had. And great blessings was upon his life, and the hand of God was upon him throughout his life. I appreciate you, and if you're living right with God, that's a great thing. But if you're not right with God, I want to ask you to ask Jesus to come into your life. You know I love you, and God loves you, and may God bless you. And I will talk with you again real soon.